before GPT-4 launches sometime this week in March 2023, I thought we'd have a bit of a play around with my current progress of artificial general intelligence. It's called the conservative countdown to AGI. It's actually counting up. But AGI is the ability of a machine to perform at the same level of a human, not just in thinking, but also in acting, in embodiment. And that one's really important. I had an interview with Kitco News out of New York recently. They've interviewed Ron Paul and Robert Kiyosaki, the rich dad, poor dad guy. It was quite a long interview. And during the interview, I may have confused the point about singularity versus AGI. And I want to clear that up now. This is a perfect time to clean it up. I defined the singularity, I defined AGI, but then I said this, is waiting for this singularity to happen possibly in the next few months. So this is not five or 10 years away anymore. Months. This is on its way. Wow, okay, and th then what happens? <laughs> and I stand by what I say here, that the singularity is not a few years away. A few means three or more. It's not 36 months. It's, let's say just under that. It's a few months away, but that could take us out to 2026 for artificial general intelligence, which is the ability of a machine to operate at a human level across all disciplines. And then the singularity, I don't think that's 2045. Kurzweil said, we're gonna wait another 20 years after AGI for the singularity. I don't think that's the case. I think we're already seeing the singularity right now. And that's that rapid speed up, that point in time when everything's going so fast in the AI world that humans can't keep up and it actually runs away from us. Here's where I've got to as of March, 2023 for my countdown. 42%, and I've fully documented this online. You can go and have a look at it, lifearchitect.ai slash AGI, but I'm gonna spell it out here on video. So you can go and reference the sources in the table, but here is why I say that today, in March, 2023, we're at 42% of the way to AGI. We're not going very far back to start with. We're only going back to August 2017 when Google accidentally discovered the transformer architecture. They gave us this concept of looking forward and backwards within words and being able to draw out what the next word should be. If you wanna have a look at that in detail, there's the paper, but you can go and have a look at Jay Alamar's GitHub where he has the illustrated transformer and talks through with visuals, how we actually got to use this piece of technology that for me is the beginning of artificial general intelligence. Pretty much all large language models today are derived from Transformer. They have some basis in this particular architecture. So that's our starting point. That got us to 20% of the way because uh, it was just a really big discovery. It shouldn't have been, but they basically said, we can look forwards and backwards and we can train it on so much data, billions and billions and billions of tokens. And that's getting even better. So how do we get from 20% to 30%? Well, it took a few years. It took three years till November, 2020. That was a few months after the release of GPT-3. And the expert that's about to comment is probably in the top five of experts in AI at the moment. His name's Connor Leahy and he said something about GPT-3 that you'll hear in just a moment, but I wanna make sure that you understand who this guy is. It's really, really challenging to know who to listen to these days. There are right now maybe a billion people that think they're experts in artificial intelligence. Connor has a huge CV. Let's start with GPT-2 in 2019. He replicated GPT-2 without really having access to it. He was able to emulate what it was doing with Atom Optimizer, with Transformer, with even the training data set. And he got it to a point where OpenAI actually met with him and said, hold on a second, we're not releasing this. You shouldn't release this either because of these reasons. He then went and replicated the entire GPT-3 data set called the Pile with Eleutha AI Eleuther with Connor also developed GPT-J, GPT-Neo X20B, and some other models that are coming up. 
All of this is to say that this guy has his head screwed on properly and he knows what's going on. He's also now the CEO of a company with a lot of big investment that's focusing on artificial intelligence alignment. Conor Leahy, this is what he said back in November 2020. I think GPT-3 is artificial intelligence, AGI. I think GPT-3 is as intelligent as human. And I think that actually is probably more intelligent than a human in a restricted way, in a very specific way. I also believe that in many ways, it is more purely intelligent than humans are. I think that humans are approximating what GPT-3 is doing, not all, vice versa. I think you can see why it was really easy for me to conservatively say back in 2020, we're 30% of the way to AGI, just based on Connor's expert opinion. We moved up a few percentage points just after that because hardware was being designed by artificial intelligence. Not just any hardware, the actual chips used to train AI was being designed by AI. Here is Google's TPU chips announced around June 2021, which took us to 31%. And then a year later, one of Google's friends, DeepMind, came out with the first generalist agent, DeepMind Gato. Only had a few parameters, but I think it should have taken us to 39% of AGI progress. And the reason for that is that Gato was doing more than just thinking. It could play games, it could move robotic arms, and it could look at pictures, spit out language. It was doing a whole lot. It was our first generalist agent, and for me, that was really, really exciting. We talked just a moment ago about Google's TPU version 4. NVIDIA, the largest AI chip maker in the world, did the same thing. Their Hopper GPU architecture with the H100 also features 13,000 instances of AI designed circuits. So we're still at 39% here, but it's because we're just reinforcing the fact that because artificial intelligence is self-improving, it's actually designing its own brain, we're well on the way to artificial general intelligence. And then there was another very deep discovery by Anthropic, the group that broke off from OpenAI to again, look at alignment, look at safety inside of artificial intelligence. With their RLCAI, reinforcement learning, constitutional AI, they actually used artificial intelligence to provide the reinforcement learning feedback. So normally we do that with humans. We'd sit down a room full of maybe telemarketers or people that wanna click buttons and they would rate the outputs of the model, A, B, C or D, they would give their preferences and the AI would learn from human feedback. Anthropic went and allowed the AI to give AI feedback. So now that AI systems based on Transformer are self-improving by looking inside of themselves, of course, another reason that we're closer and closer to AGI. But it wasn't until last month, February 2023, when things got a little bit hairy, we jumped from 39% to 41%. Remember, this is conservative. Based on the fact that Microsoft integrated ChatGPT with embodiment, with robots. They put ChatGPT into drones. They put it into various embodied robots that could move around and interact with the world. And they found some pretty extraordinary things. Here, they found that ChatGPT coded most of the key building blocks for the algorithm right away, and they were impressed by ChatGPT's ability to make localized code improvements using only language feedback. Definitely a reason to bump up that AGI measure from 39% to 41%. But it was actually a few days ago that we bumped that up to our current score in March 2023 to 42%. And that was Google taking their Palm and their Seikan robots, which we've talked about before, and implementing that with a vision transformer on top, a 22 billion parameter vision transformer on top. So you've got Palm 540B plus VIT 22B for a total of 562 billion parameters, the largest dense model in the world. 
enabling it to do some extraordinary things here. You can see it moving its own chips and blocks and with the vision transformer, it's able to see and decide what is what. So we're 42% of the way to AGI right now, March 2023. If you're watching this after March 2023, it's already out of date. I hope that goes some way to explaining my comment in the Kitco interview. Uh, that was a bit of a challenge and I don't normally do predictions, but on the spot, the words that came out of my mouth was uh, AGI is months away and the singularity, that point in time when everything is speeding up so fast that we can't keep up is also months away, a few months away, not a few years away. So let's say right the way through to 2026 or so. Here is further proof that that's happening. Have you ever wondered how many AI research papers are provided every month? Well, someone went and did some research a few months ago and found that we're at a point right now where AI research papers are being written, submitted by universities and other institutions at a rate of 4,000 papers per month. That's about 133 papers per day or one every five minutes. If we were weighing up how close we are to the singularity, this might be a bit of an indicator. They're saying that's gonna double every 12 months or so. Pretty extraordinary stuff. Thanks so much for joining us. I've got a different trailer on the way out today now. Bing Chat. What is The Memo by Life Architect? The Memo is a newsletter by LifeArchitect.ai that covers artificial intelligence news and developments as they happen, written in plain English. It is written by Dr. Alan D. Thompson, a world expert in AI, who specializes in augmenting human intelligence and advancing integrated AI. The Memo has over 5,000 subscribers, and is trusted by readers from companies such as Accenture and Amazon. LifeArchitect.ai slash memo.